Hi, this is Michael Haywood, PGA Professional and Director of Golf at Tucson Country Club. Wanted to take a few minutes and talk a little bit about club fitting today, but in particular, the retail side of club fitting. What we try to do here at Tucson Country Club is talk a little bit more than just about loft and lie and the length of the club. We make a couple of assumptions going into any kind of a club fitting, so for us, the first thing that we'd like to do is really get a full assessment of the player's golf swing and what they're capable of. So what we will do is we will actually throw in a lesson as part of the club fitting process. While we will promote that we do not charge for a club fitting, we actually do charge for a mini 15 minute lesson to really iron out the, the kinks in a person's golf swing and then work our way into the club fitting. What I've found over the years is the fact that you know, we've talked a lot about certain things in the golf swing during a club fitting. We've made a lot of little corrections uh, to a player's golf swing. And what we really do, unfortunately, we take the focus away from the club fitting. And unfortunately, it becomes a little bit more about instruction. So we're kind of trying to turn the table a little bit and really promote our player development programs by, by promoting instruction prior to the club fitting, but also let it feed back in to the actual club fitting process. So when we do that, we see great success. In particular, I also make an assumption that, you know, when someone comes to us for a club fitting, uh, we really think that they're here to buy a set of clubs. Uh, so we really want to put on a good show and, and really give them the information that they need uh, to make a good decision. You know, we don't promote any particular company in our club fitting. What we promote, of course, is the overall experience and just a good club fitting. If the player is satisfied with the club fitting, then we know that's going to work its way back into the retail side in future club pur purchases. So for us, we're going to tie in a lesson. We're going to tie in the complementary aspects of the lesson, the club fitting itself. We're going to talk a little bit about life, life, loft and lie and, and length and things of that nature. And, and then we're really going to get into the fine art of exactly what the player needs uh, on a retail level from the club fitting. Uh, we find ourselves promoting a lot of hybrids, uh, promoting a lot of uh, generous uh, rescue clubs, things that are going to really help the player play better uh, during the course of a round. Uh, we also, of course, promote uh, great pricing. Uh, we know we've got competition around the area of Tucson and you know we've got to be really aware of, of what's out there so anyone that goes through the club fitting process we give them a greatly reduced price uh, in the purchase of a set of clubs and really any equipment that follows up afterwards so if you take a club fitting uh, if you take a lesson uh, we're going to give you that pricing for as long as you're a member here at the club so if we can capture all these different uh, levels of our audience at the club we know we've got some individuals for life so those are a couple tips that we use on the retail side uh, when it comes to club fitting uh, tying in player development tying in good prices tying in the variety of clubs that are out there for a player to choose from particularly the game improvement types uh, try a few of those things and uh, you know if we could ever answer any questions to some of our techniques give us a give us a call here at the club